This is another sign of the times, an analysis and a commentary. Earth-sized planet discovered an Alpha Centauri star system. Astronomers in Europe have discovered the first ever planet with a mass similar to Earth and orbiting a star like the Sun and, in galactic terms, it's right next door. The unnamed planet is in the Alpha Centauri star system, the nearest system to Earth, according to the European Southern Observatory, ESO. Scientists say the new planet's climate likely would not be nearly as hospitable as Earth. Its orbit is very close to its star, and it must be much too hot for life as we know it. The newly discovered planet orbits a mere 6 million kilometers from its star, much closer than Mercury is to the Sun. Alpha Centauri is the nearest stellar system to the Earth's solar system at only 4.3 light years making it one of the brightest objects in the southern skies. It is actually a three-star system made up of two stars similar to the Sun orbiting close to each other, Alpha Centauri A and B, and a more distant and faint red star known as Proxima Centauri. By detecting tiny wobbles in the motion of Alpha Centauri B, astronomers were able to determine the presence of the planet. The planet's effect on the star causes it to move no more than 51 centimeters per second, or about the speed of a baby crawling, according to a press release. In 1995, the same team discovered the first exoplanet around a sun-like star. There have been more than 800 confirmed discoveries of exoplanets using the same wobble method since then, according to to the ESO, but scientists have yet to find a planet of Earth's size orbiting at a habitable distance from its star. In other words, there may be many Earth-sized planets in the galaxy, but there is only one Earth. Like every fingerprint or snowflake is unique. Also, five planets are packed into tiniest alien solar system ever found. The most crowded alien planetary system found yet possesses five worlds all orbiting a star at least 12 times closer than Earth does the Sun, researchers say. Investigators discovered these exoplanets using NASA's pioneering Kepler Space Observatory. The orbiting telescope has detected more than 2,300 potential alien worlds since its March 2009 launch. It searches for these planets by observing more than 160,000 stars simultaneously, looking for small dips in stars' brightness due to orbiting worlds passing in front of them. The researchers used Kepler to analyze the planetary system around the star, KOI 500 a star about the mass of the Sun, but only about three-quarters its diameter, and only about one billion years old, less than one-quarter the Sun's age. KOI 500 is about 1,100 light-years away. KOI 500 is a super-compact planetary system, the most tightly-packed one seen yet, hosting at least five planets ranging from 1.3 to 2.6 times the size of Earth. All five planets zip around their star within a region 150 times smaller in the area than the Earth's orbit, despite containing more material than several Earths. At this rate, you could easily pack in 10 more planets, and they would still all fit comfortably inside the Earth's orbit. These planets orbit so near KOI 500 that their years, or the time it takes to circle their star, are only 1.0, 3.1, 4.6, 7.1, 
and 9.5 days long. The planets are so close together that their mutual gravity slightly pushes and pulls on their orbits. Still, their orbits appear completely stable overall. They appear in no danger of crashing together or of hurling each other away from or into their star. Intriguingly, the outer four planets orbiting KOI 500 follow a synchronized orbit seen in no other system to date, a so-called four-body resonance. These four planets come back to a similar orbital configuration about every 191 days. The orbits these planets are now in make them too hot for the planets to have formed there. The researchers suggest the planets around KOI 500 were originally more spread out and migrated inward due to gravitational interactions between them and the protoplanetary disk of gas and dust they originated from. Perhaps the migration process that put them into their current orbits also helped synchronize them into a four-body resonance. Recent theories for the formation of the giant planets of our outer solar system such as Jupiter and Saturn, also involve planets moving during the formation process. As these giants shifted their orbits, researchers suggest the gravitational pulls hurled asteroids and comets toward the inner solar system, causing the so-called late heavy bombardment, approximately 4.1 billion to 3.8 billion years ago, which pummeled Earth the moon and the inner planets with a barrage of countless impacts. As scientists have discovered more and more exoplanets, they have found that most observed worlds orbit much closer to their stars than any planet in our solar system orbits the sun, including so-called hot Jupiters, which are giant planets orbiting closer to their stars than Mercury does the sun. Scientists still don't understand why most observed alien planetary systems look so unlike ours. In other words, there's only one Earth. Like every snowflake, our fingerprint is different from one another, so no two planets are alike. And this difference probably has to do with the different ways planets interacted with the disk of gas and dust they came from. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done to understand these processes better. As the most compact system of a new compact population of planets, KOI 500 will become a touchstone for future theories that will attempt to describe how compact planetary systems form. Learning about these systems will inspire a new generation of theories to explain why our solar system turned out so differently. And yes, this too is another sign of the end of times as we know them, transition days, which is a time of extraordinary changes, happenings, and events. Because it's about what kind of world or worlds are we leaving to the future generations? And that should be a very important question to ask Everything is connected, and everything is numbered. Again, Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. 2. And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. 3. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. 4. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. 6. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. 7. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters 
which were above the firmament, and it was so. 8. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. 9. And God said, that the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. 10. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. 11. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. Yes. The earth is a very special place, and all these are more signs of the time.